Okay, and welcome to episode 16 of my Foot Manager Series 1 save. Not long since I last streamed and had the uh, episode go in. Um, I was just going to leave it there and return to it tomorrow. However, I've just been enjoying this so much. Um, it's just been a it's case of uh, uh, wanting to get another episode up and going and certainly start streaming um, what I want to do. I left the game open. Um, and then I just started clicking away and I thought, okay, I'll pick up from the uh, next bit which that, that I'm on. Um, but I've ended up making a few little deals in that time and a few little progressions um, in the case of where we've been last. So where I'm currently at um, is I've loaned out Peter Berry. Uh, he will be going out on loan to Stockport in the National League. So it's good for him to try and get some more game time behind him um, and get to experience the English leagues a little bit more. Uh, especially at the age of 18, it's going to be a great development opportunity for him. Um, in that case, um, I did try to sell Lewis Collins after he did start moaning at me um, about him playing out of position on the right-hand side of midfield um, where he would have preferred to have played in centre mid. Uh, a false nine um, and I decided to sell try to sell him before he turned down the move now I've got Matthew Craig 21 year old midfielder he's currently under bid so it would be good if we could make about 20,000 pounds off him um, and hopefully he can go on and develop his career especially after he was a free signing from Tottenham Hotspur so it would be nice and ideal if we could sell him and you know offload him um from the wage budget which would be important he takes up about two thousand pounds a month and then we got keto taylor hart which also you know takes up about one and a half um and he is currently under bid as well and if we could make a little bit of money on him um even if it is sixteen thousand pound um and you know we make that we, you know we're gonna make off if i and a half thousand pounds off both of these players then you know that's 65 grand and hopefully we'll get half of it uh, for these players we have a few players whose contracts are finishing soon um, and that means we free up even more of the wage budget which is crucial um, for what we need at the minute uh, so yeah so we have 17k in the transfer budget we are trying to loan out Scott Bennett we haven't put any restrictions or, or negotiations on how much will be freed up he does have a contract till 2026 so hopefully a loan deal will help the 33 year old uh, secure a long-term move and hopefully find a move after this season being out on loan and will impress whatever club he goes out on loan to so it is a case of me trying to manage the squad um, and trying to offload some of the players that we do have um, and just trying to reduce some of the wage budget as well as develop some of our players now Mickey Dimitro is 34 years of age lots of experience I would like to loan him out and, and give him the opportunity to continue playing um, especially as he has so much quality and he has been so loyal to us I'd like to give that loyalty back to him um, but would just like to give him a loan out as well and um, when that would free up some of the positions in the first team and by loaning out him and Scott Bennett it would free up two uh, regist uh, registration uh, slots uh, for us uh, when we need we have a couple of players which I brought in Chavi Simmons um, from uh, Chelsea um, who moved to Blackburn he's currently in on loan at the moment so hopefully he can get the ground running at the age of 21 um, and certainly be full of youth and prospect for us um, going forward we brought Joshua Richardson in uh, Joshua Richards sorry not Richardson uh, in on loan from Cardiff which is a positive move for us 18 years of age seems to have quite a bit of potential obviously can still improve some good statistics for a player of his age uh, so yeah we're just about to go from here so we've got Rhys Hughes in midfield as well um, he's not in on loan but he is someone that we've just signed from Connors Quay um, for three point four thousand pounds so it's quite good to get him in on the cheap um, and hopefully at the age of 23 he'll be raring to go looking to step up to play in league two so Mitchell Beerkamp um, is wanted by Wrexham on loan I wouldn't mind loaning him out um, and if if they could pay you know a percentage of his fee you know we'll say 30 percent that would free up some of the wage budget and try to give him the opportunity to go out on loan um, he did automatically have a one-year contract extension even though he refused to sign um, as a result of us staying up in the league so Peter Berry is currently out on loan so let's just put him in the 23 so I know what players I have Dimani Mellor's contract is ending within this next few days um, so we'll be offloading him and that again will open up about two thousand pounds a month 
Um, so that's good to get him off. Um, Janna, again, another player. We will be offloading him. So we are getting our wage budget down. I would like Ryan Healy to go out on loan because he does have potentially had an amazing season in under-23s for two years. He struggles to play within League 2. So it would be good to try and offload him. Um, and, you know, well, just to try and ship him out on loan and give him that more experience for him to come back and improve. Will Russ's contract uh, or loan is expiring. Uh, Will Swan, I would love to get back in on loan for a third season, um, especially after he's been such a great starter for us and has been doing so well. Um, however, it is a case at the moment of where um, his current club uh, um, aren't going to loan him out to us because they would like him to play with higher quality players. Nye Livermore, I would like to loan out Nye. Um, so he can get some more experience um, and, you know, try and get his career going. He is going to be more backup and rotation for us. Um, so it's not bad to have him on a cheap deal um, and have him part of the squad depth and a bit of rotation. But we do need the quality to improve. And maybe this is why it cost us in League 2 last year. But at the moment, you know, we don't have the money to spend on bringing in better quality players than what we already have. And we're trying our absolute hardest to, to try and improve that. But until then, you know, we can only use what we have. And it's good to have players which are willing and free at the moment and they're already committed to us. Okay, Old Shop Town have, some, have showed some loan and interest within Mitchell Birkamp. We've also received um, a deal from Yeovil. So this is quite good to try and give him the opportunity. Um, you have received offers for this player. No, I don't want to. I just want to accept the deal for him. Even if they have accepted a bit, uh, offered a bit less. You know, at the minute, I just want him going out on loan. Um, 14k loan fee, which is great from Yeovil. So hopefully he will take the Yeovil move. But at the end of the day, um, there's still some fee involved uh, for from Aldershot. But I hope Mitchell can, you know, go out on loan for a year, free up some of our wage budget, um, try and, you know, make the most of his career for that moral point of view, um, and try and develop his career a bit further. Okay, Peter Needs has decided to turn down a new deal at the moment. Um, let's have a quick look. So his contract is up at the end uh, at the end of this year. So it doesn't matter too much if we lose him. Ryan Corrigan has turned down a latest deal at the moment as well. He's currently a fringe player. He's coming, not done too badly. So it would be good to try and sign him down um, on a deal. Um, Liam Shepard's turned down the latest deal. Matty Dolan's turned down the latest deal. He wants more assurance of playing time. Well, I can say that, no problem. So, you know, we have until the end of the season to try and iron out these little wrinkles. Um, and hopefully by us freeing up some of the wage budget, um, you know, it'll give us more opportunity to try and sign them down. Um, or, you know, or try and find an alternative. But I would like to certainly keep, you know, Liam Shepard. He's 29. He's been very consistent over the last few years. Of course, he hasn't hit a rating of seven. But over the last four years, he's played plenty of games. He's rarely ever injured you know he rarely moans he's out on the right hand side you know we could do better than him you know if we had the money but he's doing a great job for us so we can be happy Matty Dolan 31 years of age very experienced amazing season last year I would absolutely love to keep him for one more year um but we're going to go from there our relationship with uh filed uh you know if there is a certain way to saying that then please 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 correct me um is it seems to extend um, as they have come in for a loan offer for Scott Bennett and I'm absolutely over the moon to uh, accept that offer so he can have the opportunity to extend and develop his career further so I wish him the best of luck and it's great to support him um, on in the background I am watching the current Triestina Roma game in pre-season 
Um, so that's very good to uh, have that on in the background. So if you do see me, you know, checking my shoulder every now and then, it's for that case. Matt and Gunter, Warren, both sign preliminary deals. Lewis Twamley has turned down a latest deal, so it would be good to try and get him re-signed. Tom King has turned that down. So we are struggling a little bit on re-signing some of our long-term and core players. Um, but as I said, I hope we can free up some of the wage budget and uh, have a bit more freedom in terms of that. So Kido Taylor Hart will be moving on now. It's great that he can move on after we've given the opportunity to come to Newport County and develop. Um, you know, it's it's great that, you know, he, he was released from Arsenal. He was given a chance down in League 2 here with County. And then he went out on loan, um, didn't play so well. So now he's going to try and develop his career in the National League. And I wish him the best of luck at Fylde. And again, we further develop that relationship with them. Um, and there's potential for him to develop. He plays alongside Scott Bennett, you know. So there's a bit of, of a relationship for him there. Um, and they seem to be bolstering out their squad a little bit. Um, and trying to take on and, and have the same kind of deals as us. So £16,000 have come in. Um, and we freed up a, free, a bit of the wage budget. Okay, Arsenal have received £240. Yeah, because they needed that £240, didn't they? Um, okay, again, I love this. That's the second time tonight that that has appeared. Um, yeah, he'd been on loan and, you know, the boss didn't feel like he, he wanted to make an offer for him because I also had the same when I just sold um, Marco Russ as well. Um, and that was the same. Okay, Tony Adams' contract is expiring. I've tried offering it several times. He wants too much money as director of football. He should be going, okay, I'll stay. You know, I don't need the extra £300. It does make a difference, but, you know, he doesn't. it's not like there's a job lined up for him. So he's going to be unemployed. So then he loses out on, on £4,000 a month anyway for trying to be too greedy. So, you know, it's a shame to lose him. But at the end of the day, he wants more money than I have available for him. Um, so, you know, he can do one. High quality players, that would be an absolute great signing to get Sonny Perkins in for us. I'm going to add him to a short list indefinitely just for the, until I can monitor him. A Coley. Let's have a quick look at this boy. He is wanted uh, by both Coventry and Gillingham, which again are clubs bigger than us. Can we try and put one in? No, of course. I knew that anyway, straight away. Um, let's keep getting some on him. Thomas Hill, I think this is going to be the same case. Um, yes. Oh, there is a little fee we could pay for him. Ooh. Potential in this boy. Can we make a loan and pay nothing for him? Again, heavily reliant on loans. Um, and, you know, very restricted on the budget we do have at the minute. Again, if we could offload Matthew Craig and Mitchell Bitcamp. Um, well, even though if Bitcamp is going out on loan, it, we, we could get something for him. Or free up some of the wage budget by um, the two clubs that have come for him, in for him. Um, paying a partial amount of his wage. Season expectations, so League 2 finished top half, love that, so, you know, trying to exceed expectations again, second round, second round, okay, I'm happy with that, I'm not going to overly set it, um, simply because, um, you know, we are in Newport County, we did drop off a bit of form towards the end of last year, at the end of the day, we can just try to do our best, and we can try to do, uh, overachieve, and, you know, prove a point that we did overachieve from the agreement, Code of Conduct, yeah. Hats, well, I'm going to ask Hats to pick that. Welcome the squad back. Welcome back, I've had a ch chance to think. Welcome back, everyone, I had a chance to think last few weeks. I want to be an ambition enough. I'll give you 100%. There's no reason we can't make playoffs. Well, they're offended. They were offended because I said playoffs, and then they were like, our oh, playoffs is out of reach. 
Um, and then they said, oh, we, you know, top half is more realistic, and I agreed. Now they've come back, and they're offended and hurt that I said, oh, we should aim for top half. Okay, so I won't change that. Okay, that's it. So, I think that's a little bit of a bug in the game. Um, so, yeah, content now. Uh, well, they can moan and do whatever they want. Maiden head, seek loan. Yes. If we, if he can go on loan and he can play well there and he ends up doing a good job and we can sell him off, then, you know, we've made a bit of profit on him, so that's good business for us. Newport County has received £319,000 for TV rights, so that's good for our financial management and budget from the board's point of view, um, so they can try and reinvest in the club from a high level and try and get some of the losses and, and wages, uh, uh, some of the debt down. Okay, we do have a few friendlies, Newcastle, Dorking, Airbus, Port, Man United. Okay, let's have a quick look at the schedule. Let's try and get another game in here. So before we play Newcastle at home, let's try and play Rangers. Rangers would be bringing big money for us and we need this big money coming in. And it is pre-season, so if we have a look at larger reputation teams, foreign... Let's try and get St. Pauli at home. Um, and then we do have Paul. So if we can try and arrange a larger reputation team here. Nottingham Forest, 20k. So that's another good fixture to get in. Plenty of game time in pre-season for the boys. Um, Port Vale under 23. So let's get a game here in two days time against another larger reputation. Let's try and play West Brom. Another 18k here. Let's try and get one before Newcastle. Larger. Tottenham. Huddersfield. Cardiff, £65,000. That would be good to, for us to play them. Um, and let's try and put another one in on the 22nd. Larger. Brighton, 23. Crystal Palace, 26. Uh, we're already trying to play Leicester, I believe. Did click on them. The Rangers, Leicester. Okay, Crystal Palace. So plenty of preseason games and tests for us. Um, and then if we could play Everton would be good. I didn't want to play Everton, but if they say yes, um, good amount of money to sort of bring in. There's one on the fourth here. So if I choose very small. Yep, let's play Cardiff Met Uni in a preseason game. Let's hope that they all accept because, you know, money is money. Rangers have accepted, so fee £40,000 income, so 50, 30, so that's 80, 110. So is that a fee that we paid to them for them to play? So even if we do get an income, so let's say £10,000, £2,000, so that's £12,000, £22,000 in pre-season coming in, um, you know, £22,000, £30,000, £35,000, uh, £65,000, £75,000, 15000 so that's uh, £81,000, £91,000, £91,700. £98,500 in pre-season if we're paying teams a fee to play um, and that is the income. So £98,000 would make a difference. So, you know, if we have, you know, uh, you know, a debt of, say, £500,000, that does get us more down towards the 400000 mark, which is the most important. Um, Ethan Erehon is out injured one to three days, so he didn't do too badly, but not too great. Um, for the games he had towards the end of last season. If we can offload Matthew Craig here. So thank you very much. Off you go. Um, he is now going to Wimbledon. So I wish him the best of luck. And hopefully he can enjoy his career and turn things round. Um, there is potential in him. He just didn't get off the ground running for us. Which was a shame. But he's just moved for £50,000. Um, and we free up some of the wage budget. Which is really positive for us. 
Yes, I would love to bring him in on loan. That would be a great loan deal. Okay, we do have Cardiff in five days' time. So what I usually do is try to let Wayne Hatswell uh, manage pre-season. Um, and then I just try to appraise the results as required then um, and, and sort of go from there. If I also have a quick look at the squad, Barney Sodi will be uh, finishing in a few days' time. Um, Zach Gore, under 23s, was listed for loan. Transfer status. And available for loan because he played very well towards the end of last season. Dimani Mella, he's moving out. So he's being released. So let's just put him... Let's try and just put all these players in the reserves. So I can have a quick look at just have an overview of how the first team is going to look. Whoops, move him to the end of 23. Uh, let's remove him from his position. Okay, would like to take him on a one-year deal. There is potential in him. Um, so if we can try and get him in, that would be good. Uh, Mitchell Bittkamp is on his way out. Moved to under 23. Jacob Ramsey. He's been on loan. Not, not, you know, not bad. Not bad. Um, but I don't think I'm going to renew his deal. So I think he is going back to his parent club. Frank Dorf can finally go back to his parent club. Or, or sign for someone else. Uh, Tyler Morton, he hasn't done too badly whilst in on loan. So I think I'm going to try and make an offer to get him back in through the door of no cost. You know, be good, Barney, you know, not good enough. So he's going back. And hopefully he can be signed by the club that want him. Callum Sesse, or Cisse, is currently on loan as well. Currently now now in the Roma game in pre-season. So yeah, Callum Cisse, let's just go back. Don't know whether I just moved him. Yeah, you can go, not bad. Let's see whether we can get him back in on loan. £900 a week. Mm, I think I can try and get someone else for what we're paying and free up some of the wage budget. Jax Hegarty's wanted by Sutton on loan, so transfer. Let's try and get him out on loan to get some game time. Mm -hmm. Nick Townsend is returning back to his club, Liverpool. Will Swan, unfortunately, we can't get in because his parent club want him to go back to play with higher quality players. Ooh, there is an opportunity to get him. They seem to have changed their stance on him. Okay. 
okay? If it means him getting game time, I'm happy for that. You know, I'd rather him try and get some of uh, his tier uh, opportunity. More interested in playing for uh, Gillingham. I'm going to try and get Tony Adams to try and negotiate that. And hopefully he will end up coming in to us. Free ups on the wage budget, free ups on the wage budget. Development center. I wish the under 23s would be on its own accord, not under the development center uh, squad. Yes, my manager for the under 23s did say he was retiring, uh, would be looking at more part time roles and being less hands on. Don't really know what that meant, as he would still be staying full time with County under his contract. So I don't really understand what that change would have meant. So I decided to sack him and bring in Gavin Chesterfield, the uh, former Barry uh, Town manager in terms of the game, as he was available and very experienced member of staff to bring in. So in that case then, I think I'm going to bring Louis back into the first team. Tyler, let's try and offer the clubs loan. Evan Ovendale, transfer, offer, loan. Chris Bruce, move him into the senior team. So then, you know, we have um, a couple of options in the first team there. Joe Woodwiss, you know, we can go out and loan Agabungo. Would be good to uh, try and loan him out as, after he done quite well in, upon his return. So I think I'm going to try and offer him out for sale. Samuel Craig's contract is up soon, as is Robbie Ellis. So they'll be going out the door soon. Same with Dion Wilmot. So there's a few players which are opening up there, which we can get rid of. Orlando Rojas. We just brought him in from Arsenal. You know, he has a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of potential. 18 years of age. So uh, we're going to mark to him for his season with the under-23s. Yep, let's get rid of Ethan Morgan, you know. He only rated a 19, development centre, under 23 squad. One less player for us to pay a wage to. We have Yolo Cook as well, came in from Wolves. I think he's got a bit of potential about him. So we're going to monitor him in the reserves this year. Um, or up until, you know, January or throughout the season. And try to bring him in and rotate him so he gets some game time. No offers for free players, that's a shame. Courtney Watson's leaving anyway. Yep, he's been released in a few days. Yep, let's bring the 18 year old in. Let's move him up from our under 18s. Good. Personality, unambitious, general characters have positive impact. Okay, it's not a bad little group to have been drawn into. don't have the money at the minute to even pay that hopefully they'll go okay then you know it's only a little bit less than we wanted York and Sutton
few days left for some of the boys on their way out and it's a shame to be losing Tony Adams he'll be tying up every loose end we can there we go mate Pat in comment uh, going out on loan is a great opportunity show everyone what I'm all about yeah that's good so I wish you the best of luck whilst you're out on loan free up some of our wage budget at the same time not massively but it is you know more Tyler Morton will be returning and Swan come on Swanny boy have your third season in a row for us you know, make the most of your career. Keep playing. Keep getting that game time. Keep trying to impress your parent club. You know, it's a great move for you to come back to Newport. Yeovil. Mitchell Bitcamp's gone to Yeovil. £12,500 loan fee. That's quite good for us. They're paying £190 a week. So we're paying still £1.7 a week. Quite high. No, he doesn't want to come back to us, which is such a shame after not being playing too badly. That is such a shame. Which Finney, 19 years of age, wanted by quite a few of the uh, championship clubs. Would love to bring him in. Every signing would be a good signing, apparently. Okay, that's good that's being accepted okay let's take him off the short list so I stop receiving updates about this player as he seems to have gone somewhere else Tyler Morton would like him back doesn't want to come back though very happy but doesn't want to come back well Russ unhappy while well, he's been average slightly unhappy very unhappy with us because you've been average average Callum say content Nick Townsend unhappy and he's been delighted Townsend you know is going back to his club Liverpool which we sold him to so bye bye Yes, told to bring him into the first team and then loan him out. I know, I don't know whether I want to pay that for him though, but you know, there we go, we'll put the bid in. Okay, he's about to go out on loan. Yes, good, plenty of game time, which is the most important thing for part of your own development. And I want you to keep growing and developing. I tried to give you game time last year, you played with us some great performances, so going out on loan is certainly going to benefit you. Very positive. Good signing for them as well. Patrick Ammond. I would like him back. Bruce doing well at Colchester as assistant manager. Sellout, which is very, very good. I'm delighted the amount of first team appearances following discussions. Four games. <laughs> he was average, so, you know, it's good to uh, get him out of the door. Three to four weeks for Lewis Collins. That's such a shame, especially a day before pre-season. Okay, hopefully he will be returning. One, one thing that we, we are very good at is trying to retain and, and getting players who have played well and had a good first season um, on return to us through a loan. So, you know, Will Swan is a perfect example of that. And we had the same originally with Jake Scrimshaw. 
Um, so we are very good and loyal to players like that. And we do give them plenty of opportunity, provided they have a very good loan to us. And it's great for them to sort of return um, and, and come back to play for the club and you know try to maximise the club opportunity for them as as is seen for ourselves so good jan has just signed a new one-year deal which is good for us um you know i think he has potential he was a you know he he, was, he ended up selling quite a few shirts for us as well i think he can score i think he just needs the uh needs that game time will swan will return for his third season with newport county um we've really helped him develop his career um, he just needs to score a few more and step up again this year and would help us in League 2. So Thomas Hills rejected the contract. That's such a shame. That's because bloody Tony Adams was trying to, you know, go too low for him. But I'm going to go in. Quenza will end up coming in on loan as well. So, you know, relying on loan signings once again. But we keep the core of our squad. They have another year. So, you know, we're going to try and renegotiate those contracts. And hopefully they can come back in and we maintain that core again next year. Um, so good that we got those two in first round draw let's hope it's at home and against an easier sort of uh, team Cardiff well that's a good draw at home in the first round of course it's going to be very very tough um, you know Cardiff do have good players and they do have a good setup um, so it would be good to uh, you know try and knock them out of the cup Mike Idzi he's wanted by Crawley and Wrexham on loan let's have a quick look at his stats last year not bad Always try and have a look at players which are wanted by other clubs um, because they're obviously taking an interest in for a certain reason. Okay, Ooh, this boy seems quite good. Loan. Okay, not willing to loan him out. Don't have the money to pay for him. So what I'm going to do is just add him to my shortlist for a year. It's very hard when they're foreign. Uh, status and we struggle to get him in I would like to get him in just because it's Junior Hoylet and uh, you know it would be great I don't think he has any interest in coming to League 2 though and it's going to be tough but it would be good to sort of get him in Danny Williams there I would like to get Ellis Harrison in. He's a very experienced player as well. Just on a one-year deal. He's willing to come, but you know what? Ridiculous amounts of money. 3.4k a week. I really can't afford £3.50 a week with the wage that we've got available. So it would be good to try and get him in. Such a shame. This is what I mean. We can't even get free agent players in at the minute. I'm really struggling with that quite a lot of players available for the first team Jax is under 23s uh, so we can go in there that's a nice that's a nice bulk out squad for the season ahead you know that's good you know Demetrio's probably gonna end up in reserves bulking these out Hillier reserves um, you know available for them as well one two three new boys starting Anthony Smith has just come in. He's 18 years vote age. He's wanted by York on loan in National League. Concerned about the lack of familiarity while well, it is pre-season. So, you know, that's why we're playing these games for you to become familiar. Okay, here we go. Game at home. As we kicked off then, literally Roma in their preseason game kicked off at the same time. Doesn't matter too much if we lose. Again, it's just a preseason game. Just to try and assess where the squad's at, what we need, um, you know, how we're playing, what tactic we're going with, um, you know, what players are starting where. You know, it's a good opportunity for players to try and understand the tactic as well. Um and, and their roles and responsibilities. Good to try and develop their relationships, playing alongside each other. 
unlucky see there's little things like that jake scrimshaw should be finishing that so his composure um and the type of shot that he is taking there so you know if we're reviewing this game after in in training then it's good to give him that visual uh from you know the playback and any captured footage um and how you know he could have been composed or how he could have just changed his body shape or the way he swung his foot at it um and that he could have understood what, where the players were around him um so he could have you know taken less time um, to rush his shots we could have you know um, taken those extra moments to have that control Dom Telford underperforming 6.5 not a great start for him so maybe a loan deal for uh, Dom Telford um, didn't play too well last year you know not at the standard that we want him at at the minute so he may be a loan for him and then we'll assess his contract at the end of the season I've currently delayed the decision on renewing his contract um, because I would like to see more from him I'd also like to see more from Tom King and perhaps try and get a better goalkeeper in but at the minute we are struggling so this is a clear case of perhaps a rebuilding job um, because you know if we do lose players like Tom King who's been with us for years and you know Liam Shepard who's been with us for years and Corrigan um, who seems to obviously want more money um, even though he, he, he's not doing too badly um, oh great finish by Reese Hughes great great finish love that lad um, you know so he could end up being a rebuilding job again next year um, and me trying to bring that stability and trying to you know operate within the transfer market especially under the the reduced budget that we have um so it is interesting to see what kind of signings we are going to make here as well okay not doing too badly joe willock there on the ball i think that was maybe grew just past the post he should have finished that then Yeah, it's pre-season. Let's make that first change here. Morton's also on a yellow card. Let's get Jenna some game time. Let's get Dom Telford off for Jersa. Let's get Shepard on as well. Pre-season game for Lewis. Let's get Zach Gore off for Jarrell. Let's get Xavi Simmons on here. Let's get Aharon on. Keep Hughes on. Okay, and let's give Chris Bruce some minutes on the pitch as well. So a few changes in our first game. Great that the stadium is packed out in pre-season. Fantastic for us. And especially great for all the new players to understand the support that's in the club. Yep, let's make that last change. Get Lewis Twamley on. Um, and great for them to see the players that we have. Corrigan didn't play very well. 6.4 rating from him. Great little knockdown from... Oh! That's exactly what we're looking for. If we can do that to Cardiff in the cup and knock them out. If that was Xavi Simmons playing that ball in first time and that was great little movement. Well done to him. Poor, poor defending at the back which has cost us minutes ago but it's pre-season. You know, these players are settling in and how they make decisions there. You know, I think our goal was very, very good and positive. Shane Mayambi has scored against us. Um, obviously, if he's back in the Cardiff first team this year, it's obviously down to us. And his loan that he had with us last year has done very well. I would love to have brought him back in, but obviously Cardiff do have plans in the pre in the, in the the squad for him um, because they didn't originally realise his potential from last time. Okay, not a bad first game, especially when out at home. You no know, chance for the fans to see the players and these players to get used to the county fans. So uh, that's that's you know very positive start and you know Jana scoring and hopefully he can you know make the difference this year and get a few goals and uh, you know he can he can end up turning into a county great and uh, signing on some more deals. There we go, Roma are one 0 up in their pre-season fixture, so that's not a bad start for them. Um, let's hope that they can get a few more goals and get running, and I really hope that they can have a very good season as well this year um, and hopefully go on to win the league, um, which would be cool. 
Okay, if we sell Louis and we make £19,000 off him, that's good for a bit of income for us. And we free up a bit of the wage budget as well. He also has a chance to go on and develop his career a little bit further. Um, and we, you know, we have young Chris Bruce who's developing. Um, and obviously he's going to be, you know, focused on developing our two young goalkeepers, especially if Tom King decides to leave. Um, if not, then, you know, we have to try and look at other options. But, you know, we will look at that. Tony Adams, again... Can't seem to sign it and lucky. Courtney Watson, good luck. It's been such a shame that your deal will not be renewed with us. We tried to support him. I think National League is his level. And I wish him the best of luck in finding a club and making the most of his career. Barney Soldi, not good enough. We'll go back to his club. Newport County have missed out on 20% on Priestley Farkerson. He's actually with the club in real life, County. So uh, he's been at League One level, so he's done okay. So I think, I think if we look at uh, an option for him, we could end up bringing him back in. Frowndorf, he's not done that well. Um, he has a work permit issue. It would seem, but he's wanted by Monaco, Bremen, Ajax, Napoli, and Benfica. So quite a few good clubs there looking at him, especially coming from League Two. Um, so it'd be good for him to you know turn his career around and be around those players. It's very different. Yeah, we're gonna have to delay all of these for the time being. Again, look, this is where the rebuild could end up coming in and, you know, lots of contracts that really need, need renewing, you know, the core of the, the staff, you know, the uh, the core of the first team, you know, so many contracts were up and, you know, I'd love to keep all of these guys. You know, that means I'm going to have to go back into staff responsibilities when I get a new director of football in and make sure that the responsibilities are all in place for what I expect. All the youth contracts. Mm. Christian Brown Brooks. Mm. Not done too badly. You know, not enough data available on him. We sold 437 tickets, season tickets. Expect to sell another 1,400 for 1,800 in total. Okay, Courtney Watson is gone. Henry Sam is leaving in a year's time. Calvin Leyland Vardy. I bet they're not interested, even though he's had a very good season for him. Let's hope a few clubs come in for Dom Telford and we can sell him and make a bit of money off him. Um, and, you know, he's, he's underperforming for the standard I would expect and want. So making a bit of money on him would be beneficial for us. Um, and again, would free up some of the wage budget, which is what I'm trying to handle and manage. You know, trying to, you know, manage the squad as best as possible. Um, you know, trying to, you know, that's a shame. Um, will Russ yet yeah, will be returning? Come on, Tyler Morton. You know you want to come back, lad. Okay, that's gone back up. We've made a big loss again this month, even though we're selling players. Again, see, we're struggling our money massively. Um, you know, we, we this is the whole point of why we need to play all these preseason games and start getting this money back in. 
you know, we need to try and sign these. Uh, good finish there by Jekyll. Um, we need to try and get, you know, these the staff signed down sooner rather than later, which is the core of the club to keep the operations, you know, in place and to make sure we got staff um, to keep operating um, to the levels that are needed for the players that are remaining. Um, so there's lots to do, lots of us to fo lots of areas for us to focus on. Um, no offers for Telford. That's such a shame. Let's transfer list him now. Yep, let's loan him out. Okay, good. Let's just go to our development centre. Under 23 squad. Yep, he was in the under 23 because he wasn't originally returning. Louis is currently about to be sold. So that means Evan Ovendale will come back up to the first team. Another Youth Academy product, so opportunity for him to get some game time. And chance for Calvin to come up and have some game time. Breeze also going to be available through the under 23s for 90 minutes to keep trying to get some game time when he's not playing for the firsts. Okay, Bernardo Rosa will be going out on loan. National League level, 1.8k of a loan, so that's good for us. And they're also covering some of his fee. Hopefully we can sell him at the end of the year as well, but that's a little bit of money. Just a case of trying to bring in as much money as possible and for us to try and improve our financial state, which is obviously as a result of the board. James Milner, fancy coming in for a year. You never know. Thiago, shame that he's been released. McDowell D. Let's have a quick. Oh, did I just. Let's have a quick look at the list here. Of... Okay, they're retired. Jay Rodriguez just retired, ended up at Luton. Carl Norton retired. Ethan Morgan, 20 years of age, retiring from football. Such a shame. Such a shame, you know, how do you renounce retirement in the age of 20, like? That's a big shame. He's ended up retiring because he's gone into being a manager. Liam Trotter's retired. John Bradford, or Brayford, sorry. Amadou Diallo. So have a quick look at some of the other players here, which I recognise. Lee Novak, Ashley Westwood. Matt Ritchie, I did try to... He's been released. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Matt Logan. Come on. When you deal... Ooh. Fucking £4.3,000 a week, Joker. Jake Andrews, let's have a quick look, see what other players, big list of players, Danny Rowe, I swear he, uh, Paul Caddis, he's an experienced player, Junior Hoylet, come on Hoylet, you know you want to, you know you want to, ooh, now he's like, oh, well, I'm going to a club now, but yeah, I don't have the kind of money that you're looking for, Jake Livermore, I remember the time when he was like playing Premier League football, why can't I just look at his like, you know, clubs, there we go, that's better, do you want to come in for a year, go on, you know you want to, like three, three point seven k. It's a joke because these players, you know, they do earn good money, and they're like, oh well, perhaps if a little club wants me, they might have some money, and you know, I can just rinse them for the last bit of their time, and they must think we're made of money. Oh, Tom Ince. Oh, it would be fabulous to bring Tom Ince in. Just don't have the money. If I add him to a short list for one year, we'll keep an eye on him. Andre Wisdom, he was ex Liverpool boy. It would be great to try and get him in for a year. 
just can't offer these 2.9k Jordan Obita George Long such a big list of players just trying to see whether we can try and bring anyone in who I would think oh that he would make the difference Dimani Mello there yeah he's been released by us Courtney Watson released by us Joe Day. Oh, come on, lad. Former goalkeeper for County. Come on, you know you want to. 550 a week. We're struggling with 550. It'd be great to try and get him back in for a year. 550 a week, though. Come on, it's cheap. Mm. We're really struggling. David Sant on there, released by Cardiff, already tried to bring him in. I wonder whether he's related to Effie Sodge. Okay, let's make a budget adjustment. Let's try and get this transfer budget down and open up this a bit.
Okay, if we can get Joe Day in, that would be a great little signing for us, especially for the experience. Okay, goodbye, Louis. Thank you. I don't. I we, I didn't want you to leave, but uh, this was just a simple case of you know financial management for the club, and uh, wishing you the best of luck to uh, you know make the most of your career in this great you know that you've been in the Canary product who's had an opportunity to grow and develop. So uh, good luck. Um, yeah, and I wish you the best of luck. Okay, Rangers. Let's have a quick pick here. If Chris Bruce goes out on loan, then we got Evan Ovendale. Then if Joe Day comes in, Evan Ovendale will return to our third keeper. Joe Day, the second keeper, and Calvin Leyland Vardy will end up going back and playing for the twenty threes. Okay, good looking squad by the looks of things. Jana gets a start today. Chavi Simmons gets a start as well. A few different changes, but you know it's preseason. That's what preseason's all about. You know, making those kind of changes and giving those opportunities, and for us to appraise the squad, um, start getting all their fitness back in, getting in front of the fans, getting an understanding of their role and responsibilities. Um, you know, assessing how we need to improve them over preseason, understanding how their teammates play around them, understanding the relationships that are required. So it's certainly very interesting in, in, in the appraise of the squad and preseason. Wow, so it's little things like that are getting caught on the defence and that little transition from uh, being out of possession to, you know, um, how our shape looks. So in possession to out possession, the shape of how we set up, how we recover, um, you know, how of. Rangers transition playing from the back into attack very quickly and how we've dealt with that um, what of our what our scenarios are um, what ifs and there's a lot for us to deal with and comprehend um, but that's what preseason is all about um, and for us to capture that footage and utilize it um, in the coaching and teaching of these players especially for preseason I know like a lot of people say oh you don't teach um, in football you do you obviously coach you you mentor you nurture you harness um, you diagnose. Of course, you teach. You absolutely teach. If you're, if you're, if you've got a player who who has come in, um, for example, um, he's been, um, he's versatile in. He's picked up an injury. That's such a shame. And he's versatile, and he has an opportunity of playing, say, from centre back to a CDM. And he he's only ever played there once or twice, and he has some knowledge of it. Yes, you're coaching him in how to play and what he needs to do. But you're teaching him the game understanding, which you can also mentor. You're teaching him about that position. You're teaching him how to play 
in that position. So when you've taught him those levels and you've given him like the basic um, blueprint of say how you play there, then you coach him on how he can develop playing there. You nurture him until he finds how he wants to play there and how it best fits and suits him. And then you harness it by taking everything of his ability, the way you've taught him, while well, that's really shitty goalkeeping, um, and, and everything like that, and you try to take it to the next level. And that's then coaching the bigger picture. But absolutely, you do teach footballers all the time. Well, we're being walked over here. Gers, the Gers. We are being walked over. It is pre-season. Rangers do have a very good squad. We are just Newport County. And this is just a case of us to look at the players and get us a bit of game time. Um, you know, mostly for a money maker for us a pre-season. So we're going to revert back to our original shape. And our original system. Because we did utilise a different system. Start off against Cardiff and Rangers. Which is usually our third backup. Oh, there we go. That's a great start to the second half. Giving away a penalty. And it seems to be straight down the middle. So that's, again, really poor goal. Keeping off Tom King. But, yeah, rated at seven. Most of these outfield players are doing shite. Mickey Dimitri on. Let's swap Tom King out for Chris Bruce. Let's put Richards on here for Sheehan. Uh, let's put Ryan Hillier up front for a bit of energy. Let's get Reese Hughes off. Let's just put Jersa there. Let's get Aaron Lewis on left back. Let's make a right back swap for Sako. Can play there, be adaptable. Let's bring him on here. Let's get Dom Calford on, who off because he's been shite. Let's put Anthony Smith there. Let's put Matty Dolan on. No, we won't put Dolan on. We're going to put Scrimshaw on and we're going to swap him for Twamley. So a nice, fresh. 11 that are coming on. There we go. Full 11 coming on. Nice and fresh. Opportunity for all these players to get some minutes and play alongside each other. What a finish by Anthony Smith. Assisted by Aaron Lewis. So Smith does come in with you know some you know positive attributes about him and reputation and certainly some development points. So uh, you know it's about us giving him that opportunity and harnessing that over the season to come. Roma still one 0 up in their preseason game on the seventy third minute. Okay, now we're doing better. We're finding those opportunities, and we seem to have picked up in the second half a little bit more now. What a finish that would have been. Offside, but what a finish. Very, very poor. Another poor goal conceded. But these are, you know, Scottish Rangers. You know, they, they do challenge for the title. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they wouldn't compete in League 2. And I think if you took the current Rangers squad and you had, um, you know, Steven Gerrard in charge and they could make the investments they needed to, like they are now, I think they could be up there for playoffs for Rangers. Celtic, not so much. I think their general performances and overall squad is very, very poor at the minute. That's a shame he's out for five, six weeks. Um, but yeah, Rangers are doing very, very well at the minute. Um, and they're a growing club and squad, so I wish, you know, Gerard the best of luck. Um, and it'd be good to see him do well. Okay, it would be good for us to try and beat Cardiff Met, which would be positive, especially as we have Newcastle coming up after, which is going to be a tough game. Quite a big pre-season arrangement this at the minute. There we go. Joe Day, the former goalkeeper, is back. He has signed for Newport County this year in real life as well.
Okay, Lone Ed, try and give the 19 year old some development and opportunity to keep going. Ashworth has rejected Newport County's new offer, that's such a shame. Austin Scott, though, who's actually just left the club in real life, and Chris Clements both signed new contracts, respectively, for two and three years. But uh, either of them, so that's quite good to not worry about that. We continue our deal. Uh, uh, um, our relationship with Dagenham. Don't worry about it, Talford. Just try and make the most of every minute you're getting at the minute because you are not playing so well. It's a, it's a tough situation because we are you know trying to build on every season and sometimes you know, it's a high turnover of players um, but there's nothing much we can do if we don't have the respective funds to keep the squad in place so you know if we're losing players that's just what happens at times um, and we just got to try and do our best to keep the club operating keep playing games and to stay within league two and to try and give the fans you know football in the local area and to be proud of their club and hopefully you know we'll attract some big investors and money to have elsewhere um so and that's what we can only do is continue to try and operate our uh, janna should have got a shot off there some great defending there by cardiff met another game at home for the fans another pre-season so it's good for the fans to come in good callum cc there you know we want to try and lift the spirits up we don't want it to just be a walkover for all the opposition teams you know it's very tough you know, when we are playing these big clubs, obviously it's a challenge and it's great to play these big clubs. Um, and um, the basis of it is to try and bring as much money in for the club through pre-season as possible. Um, because we need to bring that money in. Um, but it's just a case of, you know, we need to try and support the club all around. And if we don't get these games in and try to improve the financial situation, there won't be any money to re renew contracts or to try and bring new players in. Or then to try and bolster up the squad to try and challenge for the league title playoffs that kind of thing um so yeah this is where we're currently at at the minute we're one nil up against cardiff met not doing too badly at the minute with this tactic into the second half we go Yes, that was great football there. Would have been good if he was onside, but some great little football being played within the squad. So very positive and very pleasing to see. So we're currently 1-0 up against Cardiff Met at the minute. We're doing quite well to get a num number of shots off at the minute. There we go, Kwan Jirsa. Oh, unlucky little run in from a header. That's such a shame we didn't get it. We got 11 shots, 4 on tag. We just need to put some away. We got 4 players on yellow cards here. Pre-season coming up to 60 minutes. So this is a great chance. I'm going to keep Joe Day in because he's just returned to the club. He's getting some minutes. Matty Dolan and Cissé are playing very good football here. Um, but it's a chance to you know make some changes and get some fresh legs out on the pitch of pre-season. Um, and get some minutes under the legs and just rotate players. We're going to keep Dom Telford there even though he's performing very average. Although he is out of position, I will consider that. Um, but playing very average. We're going to keep Xavier Simmons on. We're going to keep Jerser on because he's playing well. Let's try and get Richards off for Reese Hughes and give him minutes. Um, I'm going to keep Janner on for now because he is doing well. Uh, could we bring him on? Yeah, let's, let's get Jerser off and bring Smith on. Because he played well in the last game. And let's try and get him uh, some minutes too. Ten minutes to go in the Roma game. Now 1-0 up as well at the minute. Good decision making by the goalkeeper. Oh, well done, Joe Day. They almost caught us there on that transition. Some great save there from Joe Day. Yeah, 
Yep, let's get Telford off. You know, we're playing Scrimshaw on the right midfield. But there's some minutes on the pitch for him and getting Dom Telford off. Go on, Janet. Oh, great ball. Shame that Hughes didn't finish there, but a great ball played in. Okay, full time. Nice little win. You know, that should motivate us. We've had one win, one draw, and one loss in pre season. So it's quite, you know, even across the board. We do have Newcastle at home tomorrow, so that's a good game for us. And I'll see that brings in the financial benefit. Let's just have a quick look at our financial situation. Overall balance, there's a decrease, so we're paying some off. Um, the, you know, we, we're bringing in a profit this month, which is good. Um, and this season seems to be in the red already. So the income is higher than the expenditure. So there is that profit of 19 grand there. Um, so we're in a good operational uh, perspective here. And we just need to keep improving the amount of money we brought in this month. Um, and try to decrease um, our expenditure. Match the expensive ground maintenance. Obviously we can't help with that. Scouting costs, yeah. Loan repayments, zero tax. That's such a shame. And other 44,000, which is obviously operating costs. <laughs> okay, good one now. Win there. Oh, come on, re sign your contract. Okay, that's good. Several maps, several members of staff have renewed their deals, two or three years. That's good. Patrick Anderson gets another work permit and remains with the club. Um, he has been at the club now for three years, but he's been working in England. Well, there was that. There is a brief period for ten years which aren't accounted for in the game, but he has just signed a new three-year deal, which is great for us because he has a lot of experience. Um, and he seems to be doing all right in what we need him for and what we're paying him to do. Okay, I think we're at the busiest club. We've got 11 in, 10 out. We have made a net profit of £119,000. Come on, Lee Kendall. Even though he's just signed for Fleetwood as their first team goal. Keep a coach at the moment. James Holman remains with the club. That's good. Uh, they're in loan for Anthony Smith. 18 years of age. He is doing quite well in pre-season considering. So I am going to reject that offer at the minute. Ali Al Habsby has been given a new work permit, which is fantastic because he's been with us for four years. He's been in England, though, for five years in a row. But he spent majority of his life over here, so you know it's amazing that he we can get him back in and uh, you know sign his new deal, which is two years. But you know that's one thing that we can uh, be happy with. Okay, Calvin Leyland Vardy, we're going to give him a chance in the first team, and you know opportunity to rotate our goalkeepers where we've had King, Joe Day, um, and now Calvin in. Um, I'm just going to call him Calvin for short. So, uh, good opportunity to rotate and develop our players and give him some first team game time. Oh, wow. 
up over past the back of the fence again. Easy finish. Defence all over the place. Being caught out with a ball over the top and runs behind because they don't seem to be able to read that very often. There we go. 2 0 down. Premier League team. Obviously, it is Steve Bruce's team um, in real life. So we, you know, we would actually get a result because you know he they're such a shit team. Two now down to Newcastle. Not the greatest results, but in respect of it, they are a Premier League team. Again, we're underperforming. 6.4, 6.5s, you know, quite average. Great finish there from Jake Scrimshaw, assisted by Josh Sheehan. So it's good that he's picked up an assist and goal between them. And it's 2-1, so it brings us back into the game a little bit. So that's a positive at the very least. Um, it's also picked up Screamshaw's confidence as well. Again, we've been lost. We've lost possession there, being caught out, uh, being too slow on the ball, and we need to improve that decision making and how we're playing the ball out of feet and trying to do that a little bit quicker than we would usually. Twamley and Hughes aren't doing too well at the minute. Six point fours. I would. Oh, there we go. Great finish by Jake Screamshaw, assisted by yeah the. The uh, amazing throwing of the ball by Mickey Demetrio there. So that's great that we have found 2 2 um, and Scrimshaw has scored. So hopefully he can be on flying form this year and score a few goals. Good that we tested the goalkeeper there um, and got a shot off really quickly. Okay, let's make changes for Hughes and Twormley. Um, Formally here, let's get him off for Jerser as he had quite a good game last time. And let's get Hughes off for Hillier, even though you know that's not his most familiar position. However, he is some minutes on the pitch and hopefully he can open up the game and be involved in the attack and perhaps overlap with Scrimshaw um, there when he comes on in how we want and need him to play. Okay, yeah, let's make that little change as suggested by assistant manager Hatswell. Shame we didn't have that little finish there, going for the corner of the goalkeeper, but we got the shot off nevertheless. We're trying to even this game back out now and trying to change the narrative of it, as we seem to have responded, and it's now currently 2-2. That's very, very poor. Poor, poor, poor. Now we're under a threat. We're trying to defend. Oh, every time I want to click on that, that disappears, that little menu. It's very frustrating when that does disappear. Felipe Anderson has caused quite a few little issues out on that side. Good skill, good acceleration, uh, beating the players, inviting them into a 1v1, trying to work the ball into the box, get the cross off, get the shot off. You know, he's had a great game in all respect. Um, you know, he's really helped open up the back. Oh, shame we didn't win on the ball there. Go on, Smith, he's played it in. Scrimshaw defended out there. There we go, come on, Jersa. If Jersa, good that he's got the shot off and we try to play forward. Would have been better if he played the ball across the box and tried to get that chance. Oh, wow, what a goal that would have been, you know, um, and how what a way to have finished off the game. And it would have been great for Scrimshaw there. Such a shame. But we will take a 2-2 draw with Newcastle at home, considering we were 2-0 down. So that's not a bad result. If we was on side, we would have had a 3-2 win, um, and that would have been a real positive result. But we will take 2-2, um, and we can be happy with the fact that, you know, we brought ourselves back into the game, and we started to take the initiative um, with, the, with the amount of possession that we had. We just need to be smarter in how we're using that possession um, and the system that we're playing in, um, which will allow us to certainly find those opportunities to create more of a threat when we're having no shots up front we also need to improve at the back and stop you know the balls over the back being played and runs behind the defense which is costing us um dearly no matter who we play at the back 
um, but this is just you know more of a game understanding and game intelligence uh, situation. Okay, we have Dorkin away from home now before hosting St. Pauli at home. Then we play away to Airbus and Poole um, before hosting Nottingham Forest. So we still have quite a few games left in our pre-season. A lot for us to evaluate and, you know, plenty of game time to give away. Quite a few games at home, obviously, to try and improve our financial situation by, you know, having fans wanting to come see Premier League teams and Premier League players. Good pre-season performances. Um, and, you know... you get to see bigger clubs than you would usually throughout the season um, so this is a great day out for the fans and it provides that community element um, and it provides that heart in the centre of things uh, for the club which you know continues with that community element of things also gives plenty of hours for you know staff you know working in other areas of the club so that's quite positive as ever what a name not even going to pronounce attempt to pronounce that but what a name can we get him in just simply because of the name Okay, Dorkin away from home in two days' time, so let's hope for a positive result here. Um, and a win would certainly help within the confidence and, and spurring things on, um, which is, you know, really good for the boys all around. Um, and it would help, even though, you know, they're not a major club, you know, just getting that win just for us would give that confidence um, and just get us flowing in, in the swing of things. Already had him previously. We're still scouting him. I don't want any scouting reports on him. We released him for a reason or sold him. Cameron Evans is wanted by Wrexham on loan. I'd love to get him back because he was such a good player for us. Because of the poor relationship. Is there a way you can improve that? Because unless we... They just wanted him to play a certain way. I played him differently to perform even better. Hence his amazing form um, in, in some games. And, you know, having an average rating of 7.1. Uh, sorry, you know, an average rating of 7 across the board. You know, that is amazing considering, you know, he was performing at a 6.10. Um, and, you know, he's still young. Um, you know, we're 22. So I feel, you know, with 22 years of age with a lack of experience coming in to play League 2 to perform at a consistent level of 7 compared to, you know, most players who, who were struggling, you would get around 6.7, 6.8. Um, he would have been a decent sign-in um, to have brought back in. But unfortunately, we can't get him at the moment.
Okay, search for the senior affiliate. That's good. I don't want him to replace Liverpool. I'd like it to be alongside Liverpool, giving us two options. I thought I had a staff shortlist. Okay, let's just go home a minute. Uh, no, I'm sorry, let's go to transfers, transfer history. Okay, let's scout the England uh, Invitational Trial Day. Uh, let's just go to staff, responsibilities, uh, manager, media. Okay, leads and match friendlies, let's delegate that to. Wayne Hatswell, the assistant manager. It's a bit long, you know, when you're in and out of pre-season and you're, you're down to, uh, you know, in, out, in, out. So I'd just like to try and pass that off now to Wayne Hatswell, try and get through pre-season a little bit quicker. Um, and then we can pray. So nice to now win against Dorkin. That's that's a good result for us. Uh, we Hammer, we didn't hammer. We just outplayed them 66% possession, 26 shots compared to their four. Uh, goal from Jake Scrimshaw and Janna, which is good. Man of the match, Hawkins, which is good. So, you know, there's definitely potential there this season for us to keep improving. Janna, you know, two goals in pre-season for him. He can be happy with that. I'm happy with that. Would be better if we get some more goals from him now.
Need negotiation skills to be a lot higher. Uh, I did get the CS staff. There was a little way to change all that, the staff, and I don't mm -hmm. seem to identify where I want it. Now? Hmm. That's annoying. Yes, I would love to bring him in. Yes, I have no problems with him going out on loan. Hopefully then he can make the most of his career by going somewhere else. Yes, we, it would be great to bring him in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. It would be great, you know, just, you know, his standards and his work rate and just to have, you know, someone who's been in the Premier League and, you know, played at national level uh, in the club, which would be great. You can have him. Honestly, you can absolutely have him. Step up the chase. We'll put a bid in for him and I'll we'll accept it straight away. No offers. No offers. Despite a club stepping up their interest to come and sign for him. Okay, Tyrone Sterling will commence his career now as an under 23s coach following his retirement at Newport County. So currently on an A license. Would be great if we could push him for his pro. There we go. And sorry, Continental C. Even though technically, even if you had a national A license, you would end up getting your pro.
wants too much money. Three one win, nice and positive. Jake Scrimshaw with two goals. Lewis Twamley with a goal as well. Very positive.
I don't need them to judge player potential. I need negotiation, which is he's got 11, he's got 12, he's got 11, he's got 8, so he's shite. He's got 8, so he's also shite. He's got 8, so he's shat. He's got 7, so he's shat. I would like to bring in Ashley Richards just because he's former Welsh International. Because you'd be cool to have around the place. But I need someone who can negotiate. So he's got 11. And he's got 12. So he's got 11. But he can also identify players. I uh, won't be able to get him anyway. Ooh, we have. So Alex Scott will become the first female commentator in the new FIFA. Although I do like Alex Scott, I just think she is absolutely everywhere now. And it's so frustrating just, you know, I'm not a big fan of listening to her commentate. And that's just because I just don't find her as an entertaining uh, commentator as such. And I just get so frustrated she is absolutely everywhere. Um,
So good luck to Peter Needs, who's just landed himself a great move uh, to Plymouth. We just signed Lewis Twamley down to a new three-year deal, which is great for us and him. Um, let's hope that he can step up and make the most of this season, rekindle the form that he had at the start of last season. Um, so it's great to have, you know, Peter Needs goes on and develop his own career now. Um, uh, when does he transfer out? Or should be on our next move. Uh, yeah, so that's great for him to go and develop his own career. Um, and we get to bring in a bit more money. Okay, let's just go into staff, staff search, edit search, so I want to get, take that off, take that off, a recruitment, director of football, attributes, negotiating, let's see if anyone comes up for 15, probably not as per, 14, 13, Ooh, 1, 1 on 13. Okay, for me, with how much negotiating that whoa, he wants with Dick's amount, so won't be able to get him in. With what I want these members of staff to do is negotiate a lot of the deals. So he's quite good, Steve Michael. So they are very important. Ooh, he would be a great person to bring in. 3.6k though. Come on. With how much I want them to do, um, they're very important in the negotiation that I'd be looking for. Okay, good. We're in a good position at the minute. Our deals in the transfer markets have seemed to have gone well. We've prepared our squad for pre-season and we're still in the process of pre-season itself. Ah, flex typing. Well, I appreciate that and I'm very good that you're good. Too hot like. I don't know whether that's the weather or just whether you're saying that you're hot yourself. So uh, good for you if you believe in that either way. At least the degrees are dropping, it was like 27. Oh, the weather, me and you. Oh, very good. I'm uh, very appreciative of that. I just hope that you would stand up to your good standing if you refer to yourself as all hot. Okay, let's quickly pick the squad. And 21, and 21, and 21, and 21. And 21, under 21, thunder and all. Yes, I believe that is on its way in. Uh, you know, especially after how warm it has been, which is ridiculous, 
Ridiculous heat. I think you got up to 33 degrees yesterday. FM save going, yes, good. I'm on the 16th episode. Uh, just going into the fourth season with Newport County now. Uh, currently in pre-season. Just missed off in the uh, playoff semi-finals last year. Uh, we were on course to win the title. Dropped the second. We're on solid form. Then dropped down to fifth. And then ended up uh, finishing on fourth. Uh, where we ended up getting in the playoff semi-finals. Um, and unfortunately losing to Salford. Who ended up getting promoted. Now it doesn't change my job. Because I'm the one who hires and fires him. You're part of Newport Massive. Uh, and what I, I would like to be. In a bigger capacity. Wish I was actually running the club. Okay, pre-season game at home against West Brom. This is a nice pre-season fixture for us. Uh, always good to play West Brom. They're a nice club in that sense. Top goal score odds. Good that Jake Scrimshaw is on there because he is a very important player for us. How to a draw. 3-3 in pre-season. That's very, very good. 21 shots. Obviously, we were, more, we were less clinical than West Brom. More possession. Luke Ayling scored for them. Jake Scrimshaw responded. Carl Harkins. 2-1 lead to us. Then Ben Osborne, Anthony Smith scored so good. And then Jamie Saul scored at the end so good from Anthony Smith that he scored. Because he's done quite well in pre-season uh, for an 18-year-old who was just uh, signed for the club. Um, and has very little to no experience. Garner impresses again for our under-18. Shoshin's out for 11 days to 2 weeks. So that's not too bad that he's only out for two weeks because that's a good return for him when he's back from the swing of things. I talk rapid. Yes, I know. That's just, uh, just a case of when uh, in a bit of a hype on the game and how things are going. Just the adrenaline, I suppose, at times. Okay, Thomas Hill, 21-year-old winger. On a free, would be 82 rated. Would be a quality signing, would be fourth. I don't know why we keep getting him compared to Fraundorf. Because Fraundorf is gone. Uh, well, it's not usually, but it is on a hype of the sense of um, we have an opportunity to really build and turn things round, and it's exciting for the season that we could have ahead. So we're all building towards that and moving forward. Uh, so yeah, it is it is a hype in the sense of we're trying to prepare and build for the year ahead. League two top player odds: Rodrigo Gomez there. Currently on loan from Burnley, a player that we did look at, Joshua Richards, 19 years of age. We've just got him on loan from Cardiff, so there is some potential there and hopefully a good season from him. Here we go, Newport County holding Crystal Palace game at home, which is a good pre-season game for us. Let's hope we can keep a bit of momentum going. Okay, we drew 1-1 with Nottingham Forest. But we've had a pretty, you know, good pre-season. Plenty of games. You know, we have Man United and 23s at home, followed by Everton and then one of the local clubs, Lizwery. Uh It was a player that we were looking at, uh, Rod, uh, Rodrigo Gomez, uh, who's at Burnley in, in the game time. Uh, we did try to take him on loan, but couldn't afford uh, what, what the agreement was supposed to be. Um, so he's ended up going on loan to someone else now. Um, which is a shame for us. Big shame. Too exotic for Burnley. <laughs> Love that. Too exotic for Newport as well, it would seem. Stockport loan for Mickey Dimitrio. Monthly playing fee. Well, they're coming in for nothing.
we did bring in a, a lad called Bernardo Rosa from uh, after he was released from uh, West Ham. And you would have think, thought he was too exotic for Newport. But uh, after playing his debut and getting a rating of 6.2, I don't think he was that exotic for us. I thought he was going to take the league by storm and be an amazing Brazilian. But uh, he's just gone out on loan. Oh, thank you very much. a shame but you know okay let's hope he can turn his season around because he was shite last year so it's good that he can try and get some exposure and development in another area the captain is class thank you okay so we've got him out on loan 7k for him so hopefully he can have a good season after a very average one last year. You know, not enough goals or assists and only one of them out of the match. County players, yes, I would like uh, to get him. Uh, we're going to delay that one. Ryan Hillier, we're going to delay. Corrigan, let's delay. Shepard, I would like to offer a contract. Okay, winning League 2. Don't think we're in much of that. Yeah, we did agree a deal with him, and then I found someone who had better attributes, so decided to go for him, so no need for you to come in anymore. Wish you the best of luck in finding somewhere else. What you have for tea? Well, that's a very random question to ask, but uh, I had a Chinese chicken fried rice. Uh, what did you have for tea, my friend? Spagball. Oh, very nice. Very exotic with uh, with the uh, Italian food there. I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of my most favourite foods. Can't go wrong. You know you definitely can't, lad. Definitely can't. So are you from Wales or England yourself then, my friend? England, fair play, fair play. Sorry to say, well, you could say that if you was in Wales and it was the other way around. Better opportunities. Well, Man City, yes, would be better because of the players that they have. Why would I go for Oxford in the Championship when I've already got a Premier League club? I think I will go for Man City. Up the Sam Vokes. <laughs> So from this uh, perspective then, uh, am I taking in that you, you support uh, you know, a championship club or, or that you have some kind of affiliation with Sam Stokes? Oh, 
Oh, a Burnley fan. You don't find many Burnley fans around the place. Uh, you know. Always just one of those clubs which is just floating around in the Premier League somewhere to make up uh, to make up numbers. Oh, okay, lucky lad then by the sounds of things. I'm uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're 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 enjoyful of the fact or or, or or the wish of a fact. So fair play to him. It's uh, very nice. Oh, that's a shame he's out for four to seven weeks. One of our most important players. Such a shame he's out injured. Okay, free a deal for Tom King. One less issue for us to look at. And great that he's now re signed a deal. Good, Liam Shepard just signed a three-year deal as well. One last player that we have to worry about on long-term deal for him. Our permanent right back. No, I don't have Aaron Ramsey on the back. Uh, Although I'm from Wales, you know I don't I don't have a huge affection for the Welsh national side or their players. Uh, no, it's just the event this year which I saw in TK Max and uh, just having a, a, a you know a little soft spot for Juventus. I decided to pick up the shirt in TK Max uh, because it was the end of the season and just added the football uh, shirt collection. I like to try and collect as many football shirts as possible. So uh, yesterday, I believe it was, when I was streaming, I was wearing a uh, Los Angeles Football Club uh, shirt. How much was it? It was £15 in TK Maxx, end of season. So uh, I think I just saw their training top for around the same price. Uh, and I think they've got a Man United top in there, but no one wants to wear that. I certainly wouldn't want to add, although I collect, I wouldn't want to add that to my collection. Definitely not. Yeah, it, it was a bargain, absolute 15 quid for the end of the season. It's an absolute steal, so uh, very pleased to have uh, picked that up. Yeah, TK Maxx is the one. Lovely 10 nail win there, 43 shots to none. Good 10 nail win. Yes, I would go in there, my friend. It's a very good place. Okay, good profit this month. Try and get the overall balance down. Yes, I would go in there. Who will be redrawn with this year? Port Vale, Torquay and Chelsea under 23s. So that isn't a bad little table to have. Hopefully we can progress and make something of this year.
So is it just Sam Vokes that you're into or is there any other player that you're into yourself? Very decent under 23 is much better than uh, Liverpool's under 23. So a lot more choice here of players for us to look from. Okay, he has five caps for his country. Okay, that's a shame. Now, fair play, fair play, Ashley Westwood. I think he's just been released in this save when I was looking on the release list earlier. Is is it is it uh, so? I are you swinging that way then? As you know, in terms of uh, of a person who uh, isn't you know typically straight or someone who swings both straight and the other way, or is this just you know straight thing and you're going? Oh, do you know what? They're all right. They are. Oh, fair play, fair play. Nothing wrong with that, lad. So how long have you been following Burnley for then? Get anyone. Okay, fair play. Five years following them. Got into football in 2016. Always better to get into football than not to get into football. So, what age range are you around then? Are you are you under like 18, for example? Over 18? Over your 30s? Mid 20s? 40s? Sixteen. Oh, okay, fair play. Oh, that's good. Always good to go to your first game and you always sort of remember it. Good that you got into uh, football. Absolutely do. We wouldn't be if he was still in charge, mug. <laughs> yeah, some people still don't have a scooby about what football's all about now either. But at least you're into it, my friend. Oh, misled. Volatile and plays mind games. Uh, twat. Yes, I do. I support both Chelsea and Newport County. They're my two clubs. So, yeah, they're the teams that I support. <laughs> I 
Maar die won't be uh... I do have very high hopes, as I do every year, uh, both in terms of the game and, and real life. So uh, we did we didn't have a bad season last year. We ended up in the playoff finals, just losing out uh, through a, through one goal, which was such a shame. Minutes away once again uh, from potentially getting up to League One, and we've made quite a few signings this year. Um, and preseason hasn't looked too bad. So yeah, high hopes. That we get promoted this year and uh, Mike Flynn stays and there's big injection within the first team of funds and finances so uh, yeah high hopes and it's great for the club to be growing and we've signed a number of new sponsors this year I think another sponsor was just agreed tonight by the club so that was good to see so commercially there's more avenue for us and uh, we're growing year after year Okay, now now at half time, not a bad game, not awful though. Should be really, you know, making the most of it. Collins isn't really having too much impact on the game, isn't playing that well. There we go, Reese Hughes, well done. Good assist by one of our new boys as well. So good that we've put ourselves in the lead. So that is promising. Just need to be strong at the back, and as usual, we are not. And we can see shitty goals like that. Very very poor on defending anything like that. Twamley isn't having a great game. Let's try and get him off and swap him for Scrimshot. Some great football there. Great football. Just a shame we couldn't put it in the back of the net. 14 shots, 7 on target. They've only had one shot on target. And as per usual, it is costing us, which is such a shame. Defensively poor, as per usual, being caught out. Ebbsfleet got promoted, so that's good for them as well. Let's make a swap here for Corrigan. Uh, and actually, and let's get Callum Cassie on as well. You allowed fans in Wales? Yes, we'll be having fans back this year. Um, so that's good to see for pre-season. So I think that's in the case of being organised for this year. So uh, that is a positive uh, to move forward for this year. So it's quite good. I think a few fans have been travelling for some of the pre-season games. So uh, let's hope that it will open up for more fans soon. And football and life can get back to more normality. 1-1, one, one, first game of the season, away from home. Not bad. Shame that we threw away two points by shitty defending at the back. Oh yeah, well fair play. I hope you have such a good time. That'll be a, 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 good, uh, a good game to watch and hopefully a good buzz. Because everyone's been away from it for so long. They'll be more hyped up than usual. So I hope you enjoy it.
<laughs> Funny that. You said Oldham and now our second game in the league in six days time at home at Rodney Parade is Oldham. So it's Newport County versus Oldham. Okay, that's good for Mitchell Pitcamp, promising to see. Still only rated 6.8 though, so I hope uh, he can make the most of his time out on loan and you know try to continue building on his career and continue developing. So two days away from playing Oldham at home at Rodney Parade. So let's hope that Newport can beat Oldham and start getting the run at home going um, and put ourselves on four points out of six at the start of the season, um, which would be a positive start for us. And let's hope that it sound, sets a benchmark um, for what we want to do at home by winning as many games at home as possible. Would be great getting him on loan. It'd also be great to get him on loan. Breeze currently out on loan to Coventry, so playing in the championship off to a good start as well.
Will Swan's out injured, so it'd be good until he comes back because he can make the difference. Oh, great finish from Reese Hughes, assisted by Joshua Richards. That is a fantastic finish. I think he could be a, such a great player for us this year. And I hope he finds some great goals and we get Will Swan performing as well, same as Drake Scrimshaw. I think that we could have such good attacking intent and great football being played. So I really hope that we turn things round. Come on, Newport County. <laughs> yes, I just like to try and have the highlights going as fast to just try and get through the game, uh, especially with the amount of games all season. What a finish from Xavier Simmons. Um, yeah, I just try to get through the games as quick as possible, especially with the length of the season in League Two. Um, yeah, so that's why it's on that quick, and I think I'm just used to it by now after all the years of playing it and just having it this fast. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. No, I don't think it's the lad from PSG because I did look at his history and uh, there was no point where he was signed at PSG. So uh, he wasn't previously there. Yeah, as per usual, the typical ball up over the back of the defence, run in from behind, finish one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper, shitty defensive runs uh, defence as, as usual and not reading the runs behind. Poor, poor defending, not happy with that. Let's get Matty Dolan off because he's on a yellow card. Let's put Zach Gall there. He's usually quite a uh, trusted player. And let's get Lewis Collins on. No, I don't believe it is. I'll take a look at his history now for you. Once the game is over, we'll have a quick look at the lad. Great finish, one-on-one, -on -one, assisted by Joshua Richards. Once again, well done. 3-1. Nice little ball. Glad Scrimshaw has scored. We're finding those little leaky gaps in the, between the centre-backs. So we are being caught at times. Good dribbling there and holding of the ball by Hughes. Good little idea, only if it uh, swung round to the left a bit more and he was able to take it under control.
He's had a very good game, but he is on yellow, which I don't want to risk going down to 10 men. No, we can't bottle this. We have three one up. We've had 20 shots, seven on target. We've only allowed three of their shots to be on target. Uh, you know, we're quite even on the corners. We've had less fouls than them. So we're doing quite well in contrast to things. Oh, he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball. One on one. Goalkeeper conceded again. Tom King is dog shite at the best of times. He lets in too many poor goals. 3-2. We will take it at home now. Four points. Happy with that performance. Obviously that leaky defence needs working on. And Tom King needs to improve his saves. Yes, he had a very good game. Very happy with how he is performing. The on loan man from Cardiff. Cardiff do produce some very good players. And they're very been beneficial for us to take on loan. Especially when they're not playing games or consistently. Uh, it's just the positions that we play them in may be a little different from what they expect. Right, let's just have a quick look at our squad. Where is the young lad? Let's go into uh, information. Just Xavier Simmons there. Uh, born in London. No, I don't think so. Brentford. Let's just have a quick look at his wiki. Xavier Simons. Yeah, it does play for Chelsea in real life. Let's just have a quick look at his transfer market. Born in London, 18 years of age, defensive, centre mid, signed from uh, Brentford on a free, uh, and has been at Chelsea. Yeah, so he's a young Chelsea bloke, so uh, hopefully he'll make a name for himself and we can get to know him more. But uh, he ended up going on loan to Rochdale, done quite well there, went back to Chelsea, obviously not played, moved to Blackburn and not played. So they've loaned him out and hopefully he can turn his career around. And make the most of it whilst being on loan here at Newport County. There we go, another centre back to come in. Yeah, he is young. He's lacking that experience. We may lack that bit of uh, game understanding and, and knowledge being on the field. But that's the point of coming in on loan. But it does give us more backup and, and rotation at the back and choice, uh, especially after some poor meeting. Uh, poor meeting, some poor work in the last game, Zach Law. Again, 20 years of age, still in the under-23s. Um, you know, opportunity for him to become a big player, especially for us long-term. Ryan Vigors, yes, on the scout report, but we did sell him or, you know, give him away on a free. So I don't really want him back because he doesn't perform that well. Okay, he did score, so that was a highlight. Good. He had a crucial uh, performance in that game, so that's very positive to see. Two clean sheets in three games. He may be National League level. However, he could end up utilising this experience and coming back into League 2 and being our long-term goalkeeper. So hopefully that this loan will benefit him and his own growth and development and as well as us to appraise and develop our first team. We are playing... Uh, Cardiff now in a Carabao Cup so it would be great to knock out it was a big game anyway for us to host um, teams bigger than it bigger than us um, and especially at home and when it's a cup game you know it's a different uh, atmosphere and environment okay he's out for two days uh, and it's good joy um, but I think it's going to be even bigger that we're hosting Cardiff at home because of the rivalry um, so I think fans will be here, so it would be great that if the fans are behind us and we knock them out and we progress in the cup, um, it could be good financial gain for us as well as good confidence all round and enjoyment for the fans. So uh, I really hope that we can beat them.
Okay, so we've ended up dropping Tom King for this game and putting our young keeper in. So opportunity for our young goalkeeper to develop and get some game time in the first team. You know, there's no harm in swapping a goalkeeper out, especially after Tom King letting two really weak goals in the last game and has let three goals in two games in. So uh, opportunity for the young player to get a game now. We are quite a young squad in respect of things. Um, so it is going to be very tough coming up against the, you know, a good Cardiff squad, and you know Cardiff do have, uh, you know, more financial uh, budget than us, uh, so can make bigger investments in the first team, and obviously bigger investments within their academy. So their academy is good quality when they bring players through. Um, so yeah, we do have quite a young squad in a sense. We do have experience with Shepard, Hawkins, Dolan, uh, Sheehan there. Uh, wow, poor, poor defending from set play once again. Very poor, finding ourselves 1-0 down here at home. They've had one header, um, which counts as one shot, and one shot on target and seems to have gone in. Um, so we need to be clinical when we get our chances and certainly try to get back in the game sooner rather than later. There we go, good football from them offside though. Okay, it looks like we're on our way out of this cup already. Doesn't matter too much. It would have just been a bonus if we have, you know, won and progressed in the cup and had the opportunity. But let's not rule anything out. Assist by Lewis Collins for Jake Scrimshaw to have got a goal there. So good confidence from him and such a good goal to have scored. Come on, don't turn. Don't make him turn. Let's just swing the ball into the box. I think when Dolan gets the ball, he should just whip it in using his left foot rather than trying to turn out because he doesn't have that capability of turning players within a quick pace. Um, so it doesn't work to his benefit when he tries to pull off a turn. I think he should just play it first time um, and that would create more um, of an issue for Cardiff than trying to put us on the back foot. There we are. Look at that mid-block that we're defending in. Just need to stop allowing the board to move in the defensive third and into the box. Um, and we need to try and maintain possession to move the ball forward in a more positive respect. Hughes isn't having a great game, which is a shame after he's done quite well in the last two games. Um, so let's swap him out for Ryan Hillier. Let's get Josh Sheehan off. He's on a yellow for Callum Cisse. And let's get Erahan on for... Corrigan who is underperforming once again not a bad player there is scope for him to develop but there are so many inconsistent games and where he does drop into a low level performance and he really needs to work on this if that was a save then what an excellent save that was go on Collins drive 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 good recovery defending there from Cardiff Off the post, wow, they'll be gutted with that. We're still in this game. Looks like we're going out though, but when when the minutes count up like this, yep, we're out, yep. There you go. There's the finish from Mayambi, who we developed when he was on loan last year. There's the finish. Off we go. Lost to Cardiff. Not really bothered too much. Would have just been nice to have progressed. We fought beneath the expectation of trying to get in the second round, which is a shame. But we can focus entirely on the league. Um, but yeah, that's it. Made his Newport County debut, 19 years of age. He is wanted by the seams of things by Southend on loan. Not going to loan him out. He was playing National League football last year, so a complete different ball game being in League 2. I'm going to say Wayne Hatswell, my assistant manager over there to uh, deal with that press conference so I can just move on. We are away to Grimsby in three days' time. Yes, yeah, a rival defeat, but it's not in the league, so I wouldn't worry about it too much.
then they have made a loan offer for him. Well, I don't think Cardiff should loan him out because I think he could be one of their most important players because he's absolute quality. Okay, I think this is going to be the last game for this episode 16. Um, so it's very interesting as we continue to develop the episodes. Um, and you can watch this back on YouTube, which should be up later tonight. Um, and it'd be great if you could watch episode 17, which I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, which is going to be very exciting. Thank you very much for subbing. I hope uh, you get the notification tomorrow when I do go live. Um, and that you can join me if, you, if you're there. But I really appreciate the sub. Uh, it's much appreciated if you're on Twitter also. You know, you can follow me there. I'm on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch. You can, you know, follow and subscribe me on all. So uh, I really appreciate you watching. I think it's the longest time I've ever had someone watching. And the most comments they've ever given. So I really appreciate that, my friend. Oh, Tom King, you should be catching that. Why are you powering that out for a corner, you tool? You don't need to be rich just to give a follow on uh, Twitter, but I do really appreciate the sub on uh, YouTube, and you can watch back the entire uh, series and episode uh, if, if you really wish, but uh, I do really appreciate that. <laughs> that's a funny little comment uh, I, I like your attitude to things but uh, <laughs> no problems no problems oh, good chance there <laughs> I'd be tamping as well. I'd be absolutely fuming. So uh, I'm gutted for you. That you know that that's the way it's gone. Gutted for you, my friend. Oh, what a swing! Good finish. Very, very good. Love it when we score goals like that. He does have good quality, this lad. So I really hope he makes the most of this season, and uh, he does. He performs really well for us, but not in a case where Blackburn decide that they want him back. Good pressing, good win back of the ball. Oh, fucking hell. Look at that. Hawkins there. You know, he had him in his pocket there. Then he dropped off him too much and allowed him to play. Fucking great ball, by the way. Shit defending. Miller, get. he can get easily get across him there and stop the shot. Guess across, guess across. But what the fuck is Tom King doing? Fucking liability. Wow. What a f way to throw away two points. Oh, wow. Great header by James Claridge. Wow. Thank you very much, son. Great swinging of a corner. 
Fucking Tom King, I tell you, he is getting dropped the next game. Poor, poor performance from him. Another fucking shit goal conceded, but not a bad start. Good win away from home. Thank you very much. Another player who I think can absolutely develop and be a great player for us. Had a very good loan at Leighton Orient last year. But I think he can do even better and step up the level and make the difference for us. Glad that we got out that win, especially after conceding such a poor goal. Absolutely great ball. Should have got a cross on the defence at the centre-back, though, and defended it even better. I think it was really poor from Tom King to have let that goal in. We do have Mansfield at home, Northampton home, Chelsea under 23 is home. So a free game run at home before two games away. And then we're back at home against Lincoln. So nice little fixture list at present. Six days until our next game. Walsall sat top with Northampton. Morecambe survived their season last year but seem to have turned things around for the start of this year as they're sat third already. Cheltenham and Chesterfield will be pushing for those playoff places once again. And let's hope we can capitalise on Mansfield, who have picked up one point out of nine, minus three goal difference, sat bottom of the, uh, towards bottom of the table. So that would be good if we could certainly maximise and beat them. Great that Wex Wrexham have been promoted. Great to see another Welsh club in the English league system. Um, so that's going to be a nice little travel for us and them, um, and a little bit of resurrection of. Um, of, of a rivalry between the two Welsh clubs um, but there is a good understanding of a relationship there so it is good that we will be playing them um, just hope that we can beat them and it's going to be interesting to see whether they remain in the league and whether they keep developing I think their finances are okay although in real life they would be um, a lot better um, obviously because of their investment of Ryan Reynolds and the amount of money that they have available um, so I thoroughly believe that it's just on the basis of the simulation and the way the, the game has gone. But I do think that they would have more finances available uh, in, uh, in real life. Hillier once again playing so well. Such a good player, Ryan Hillier. Two goals, but just doesn't seem to perform in the first team. So I think National League loan would absolutely benefit him because I think he has quality to play at that level. Not a bad under 18s group to be drawn in in the cup. Shepard out for six, seven weeks. That's such a shame. Let's hope that he can recover and get back into his form and position sooner rather than later. We're just going to have to adapt to that and see how we can recover his position. Let's try and get Josh Labs his A. Thank you very much. Studying for that. Lopez will study for his qualifications or development there. Can we actually bring these people in though? Fitness, 10. Wow, let's bring a fitness coach in with only 10. He's only got 11. Performance analyst. Can we bring in? Do we have space for a performance analyst? I'll offer him the deal and then they'll probably come back like, oh, we can't take him on. Lewis Collins out for three days, so may miss the Mansfield game.
Wow, they've actually let him go out on loan. He's a fucking quality player. Typical Cardiff. Can't manage their player well enough. And then end up shipping him out on loan. Twat. The, imagine going from, like, Wolves after, a, you know, a poor performance of a loan in League 2 at Newport. The signing for bloody... Yeah, I thought so. Um, signing for Bayern, that's an amazing move. It's like one of like Renato Sanchez when he came on loan to to Swansea, underperformed, had an average season. Everyone started then writing him off, and then he's gone on and had a great career. And he still could have such a great career if he makes the right move for this season ahead of him. It's just one of those baffling moves, you know, where you've gone from like League Two and then play for like world class players at a world class facility with, you know, real good standard yes both of those boys can yeah they're uh, decent lads absolute legends to them both so uh, yeah I'm glad you've caught up on that video which has been on there for like pff, you know nine years now I think it's been on there six six and it's only got 51 views So a quick look at the squad. Well, fair play to you, my friend. Fair play. I hope the comps continue to go well for you and you keep posting them. Uh, what comps are you entering? Or hosting? Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> I keep going. Like, it's been absolute years since I've ever done one of those. Um, and it's, I just used to enjoy doing them back in the day. But, obviously, back then, you know, very different quality type of videos, different types of edits. And, uh, you know, that's what I was all about back then. And they're completely different now. Um, but last one I've done, you know, uh, Jose Mourinho, uh, was eight years ago for Didier Drogba. I've done a couple of, you know, basic snooker ones, but you know, they, some of them done okay. 1.2, 2.1 views, in, in 2,000 views, 1.4 for Ronnie. They were okay, but it's been many years since I've done any any of those. So. Uh, Hopefully might get back in doing some, but I think I'm going to focus on foot manager streams at the minute and uh, trying to get the number of episodes up and hopefully try and get a bit of a following and increase the views. But yeah, I hope I hope uh, you 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 continue with them because it, you know you you always stop you you always continue developing. Yes, Brian Clough, one of my all time most favourite managers, an absolute legend of a person. So a uh, big fan of his. So yeah, did do one for him. I think that got like a thousand views or so, but you know absolute legend. Love him entirely.
Okay, my friend, it's been an absolute pleasure to have someone with me for about an hour and to be commenting and just be engaging, which is really appreciated. I love the fact that you've got engaged and uh, you've subbed me. So, you know, I will be on Twitch if, you, if you're able to, uh, uh, you know, give me a follow on that and it should ping when I'm live. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice night also. I hope you take care and uh, hopefully catch up with you soon and see you on another stream. Uh, take care, my friend. Have a good time.